All right. All right. Hello, church family. We are the Gibsons. I am Brian. I am Brooke. Ben Gibson. Bennett Gibson. No, it's Ben Gibson. Ben. I am Bristol Gibson. And I am 11 years old. Yes, okay. you are. Uh, I am Bray. Um, and I am Brayden. Brielle. And how old are you, Miss Brielle? Three. Three. Yeah, and normally we have different options we do every night. Right now we're studying the Jesus Storybook Bible, and here's a copy of it right here. And Brooke will tell you about the other options we do. Um, we also have done this one. There's no front cover on it anymore, no, but it's let's go. 365 Come great Bible stories. Um, we've used this one well. It, they're pretty short um, for our little attention spans that we have. <laughs> and we also have one that prefers us to use real Bible stories, so sometimes we do that and we kind of switch up what we do here and there. Um, and I ripped that Bible yesterday. Yeah, you ripped the Bible. All right. All right, guys, everybody Here's a little glimpse spots. into our nightly routine. All right, tonight yeah. we are reading out of the Jesus Storybook Bible, guys. It's uh, Exodus 3 through 13. It's a story about God to the rescue. It's Moses and the great escape from Egypt. I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but let me know some. At the end, I'm going to ask you a question about what new you learned, okay? Yeah. So try to really listen really good. Joseph and his brothers grew old and they died. But, child, but their children's children stayed on in Egypt where they became a very large family. Later on, a new king began to rule. But this pharaoh didn't remember Joseph and he didn't like God's people. He made them into slaves and he beat them and made them work harder and harder. God's people cried out to God to rescue them. And God heard them. He remembered his promise Why to Abraham. So he would look after his people. people if I can talk, right? He would find a way to set them free. One day, Moses was looking after his sheep when something caught his eye. A bush was behaving very oddly. It was flickering with flames, but at least weren't burning up. He took a closer look. Moses boomed a big voice. Moses slept back. The bush was talking to him. I have heard my people's cry, God said. I have seen their tears, so I have come down to rescue them. Go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go free. Brio and Bennett, can you find your spots, please? Sit down, please. Moses was afraid, but God said, I will be with you. Look at the burning bush, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, pretty cool. That would be kind of creepy to see a bush burning. Everybody, quiet. So Moses went to Pharaoh. Pharaoh, Moses began. God says, Pharaoh interrupted him. God? Never heard of him. Moses kept going. God says, let his people go free. Why should I, Pharaoh said. I don't want to, and I won't. So he didn't. So God gave Pharaoh ten warnings, and he called those ten warnings, what do you think he called them, Brandon? The ten, the ten plagues. That's right. First, God turned the river Nile all into blood. No one could even drink the water anymore. But still, Pharaoh would not let them go. So God made frogs. Hopping and leaping and jumping. Excuse me. Excuse you, man. Okay. And your bed frogs and your hair frogs and your soup frogs. You guys are so silly. Really? All over everyone, frogs. Bennett, find your seat in Brielle. Sit down, please. Oops. Make them go away, Pharaoh screamed. Then your people can go. Oh, who's here? So God who's here? took the guys. frogs away. Ah, right. Brielle. Guys, I heard them. Bennett, get back, guys. I'm with you. So God made frogs come hopping and leaping and jumping. They were in their beds, in their hair, in their soup. All over, everywhere, frogs. Make them go away, Pharaoh screamed. Then your people can go. So God took the frogs away. But Pharaoh changed his mind. You can't go, he said. Then God sent a zillion of the gnats. A lot of gnats. But still Pharaoh said, nope. So then God sent swarms of flies. Flies buzz, buzzing in your eyes, flies. After... That no, sickness on. and horrible boils and huge hailstones and a storm of locusts, then darkness when it should be have been day. Until it seemed that the whole world, creation and everything, was coming undone, falling back into the darkness and emptiness and nothing. Here's a couple of the pictures of the plagues that God sent to him. Yay! Which would be the worst? Oops. Which plague would be the worst, you think? I 
would say maybe that big yeah. hailstones or the Can boils. Can I look See them? I love this one. I like that too. All right, fine. You see it again, I okay? Like I don't like frogs either, but. But each time, Pharaoh said, make it stop, and then I'll let him go. And each time, when God made it stop, what do you think Pharaoh said? Pharaoh immediately said, no. God stopped it, but he said, no, again, you can't go. Finally, Moses warned Pharaoh, obey God, or he will have to send the worst things of all. Pharaoh just laughed at that. So God said, the oldest boy in each family of Egypt must die. But my people will be safe. God told his people to take their best lamb, kill it, and put some of its blood on their front doors. When God passes over your house, Moses explained, God will see the blood and know that your lamb died instead of you. What was that called, guys? Yep, that's right. They put it over their door, see? Why? See? Why? That's called part of the Passover. All right, let's listen, okay? There's a couple more pages. That night, it was just as God had said, suddenly, piercing the darkness, echoing down the corridors of the palace, came a blood-curdling scream. Pharaoh's oldest son had died. At last, Pharaoh did exactly what God said. Get out, Pharaoh shouted. Just go. There's Pharaoh crying out because he lost his son, and he told the Egyptian, just get out and go. God warned him many, many times, didn't he? Get out a go. Yep, all right. We got one last page, guys. And They're so, really that very night, Moses and God's people fled out of Egypt and out of the slavery. They were free at last. God's people would always remember this great rescue and call it the, what did you say, Crystal, earlier? Passover. The Passover. But an even greater rescue was coming. Many years later, God was going to do it again. He was going to come down once more to rescue his people. But this time, God was going to send to set them free forever and ever. Who is he going to bring down from heaven to rescue his people? Who are they talking about here, Brady? Jesus. Jesus, yep. All right. I'm going to ask you a couple questions here, and then we're going to take prayer requests. Bristol, can you tell me anything you learned tonight? Even if you, if it's something, is it something new? Or even if it's something old, if you want to tell me something you learned tonight. Um, Make sure you speak up. Anything? Anything? You want me to come back to you? Okay. Brayden, tell me something you learned tonight. Um, you speak up a little bit. Maybe about, the, maybe about all the frogs they got everywhere. Yeah, and the gnats, some of the plagues. Okay. Bennett, what'd you learn tonight, buddy? Ben. Yeah, Ben or Bennett, however you want to be called. Ben. Okay, Ben. Mr. Ben, what'd you learn tonight? What was your favorite part tonight? Speak up. If he, if he, if he left his son in the tomb, if he died, was his son did die. Yeah, and, that he, and that's what finally let him go. All right, guys. So I'm going to take some prayer requests tonight. Well, right there, there you didn't show the son, okay? All right, I'm going to take some prayer requests here. Bennett, Bra anybody no, got any prayer requests? Stop doing that. Ben, do you have any prayer requests tonight, guys? Anything? Um, Make sure you say it loud so everybody can hear. Turning <laughs> for the virus, yes, absolutely. God to stop it and heal people. Ba Mr. Yep, baby Amos. Baby yep. Amos. Yeah. What about Savannah? You want to pray for Savannah? Her seizures and things like that. Yeah. yeah. And then how about we pray for the Render family? What? Where? Yeah. Right. Their dad passed away. All right, do you guys want me just to leave the prayer tonight? Yeah. Okay, everybody be quiet, okay? All right, thank you, Lord Jesus, for this time we got to gather as a family, Lord. Thank you for our church. Thank you so much for everything and the blessings you have given us, Lord. Please forgive us of our sins. Help us draw closer to you by studying your word. Please be with a prayer request tonight, Lord. Please be with this virus. Please help everything go away. Uh, please keep us safe from it. Anybody that's experiencing the virus right now, Lord, help heal them. And please help us get through this time, Lord. Help us draw closer to you. Most importantly, Lord, help many people get saved because of this, Lord, and draw closer to you. We thank you so much for everything you've given us. Please be with baby Amos. I continue to be with him, help him grow, Lord. We thank you so much for the blessing he is going to be in our lives. 
and in the Husses' life. Thank you so much for Savannah. Lord, be, please be with her, Lord. Heal her from her seizures and things like that, Lord, so she can get back to normal. We thank you so much for everything you've given us, Lord. Yeah, and please play with Greg and Wanda, Lord, as they're going through some sickness, Lord. Yeah, we, we get all that, okay? The, the, next and thank you so much for everything you've given us, and thank you for our church, Lord. Amen. Amen. Did I forget something? What? Okay, do you want to pray for something real loud? You want to pray for you? Where did I forget? I do that, you're Johnson. So you go ahead, Brielle. Speak up loud so you can say it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Speak up, Brielle. Thank you for my birthday party. Thank you, Megan Charlotte. Thank you, Dad and CJ. You say, who's Jesus? Who's Devin? Pray for the virus. No, we don't want this pray the virus goes away, baby. After the virus go away, we have to put in the neighbor's yard and we have to whip and that take a bath. Say, say amen, girl. You did good prayer tonight. Amen. Say amen. No, Bennett. No, no more. Okay. Amen. All right. Amen. 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 All right. I hope you guys learned something from that beautiful mess. We love you, church family. Good night. Everybody say good night. Good night.